There is a place that I saw online that has changed the whole course of my last bit of time here in the Philippines and that is this place. Tilapas Marine Sanctuary is all the way on the northeastern tip here on Sikior and ever since I've seen images online of the schools of Barracuda I knew that I would be going there and today is that day. We have just had our briefing at the dive shop and uh, now we're going to drive about 45 minutes to the northeastern point of Sikior, basically where Tulapos is. Yeah, it's going to be quite the drive. It's already warm, so I'm very excited to have like the wind blowing on us a bit. And then uh, once we get there, we have to get a guide and uh, we can head into the water. But first of all, we have to get there and uh, I'm going to try and <laughs> drive with the fins. Okay, well, it looks like we have made it and uh, what an incredible drive. The island of Sikiro is so beautiful and just going through all the greenery like that was really, really lovely. And I definitely think that I'm going to be getting a very good tan being on a scooter so much. Now we've arrived at Tulapos and this is actually Sikiro's oldest marine sanctuary. It was set up in 1986 as a protected area and it is about 14 hectares of coral reef, beaches, coastline and mangroves. So it is quite a large area and I'm super, super excited that we're going to be free diving here today. Okay, so it looks like this is where the registration is happening and then basically okay everybody's getting ready we've got our own gear i think from the prices i can see on the board it's like 100 per person actually for an entrance fee and then 250 per two people to share the guide um, but then obviously also including in that i'm paying the price of a, a free diving session with a proper instructor so add that to everything and um, i think we're about 2200 today but uh, i think it's going to be well worth it So I'm hoping it's not going to be too crowded once we hit the Barracudas. Um, it looks like we're also going to be swimming out pretty far, but um, we can't really control these things, can we? So let's just hope it is great and uh, start heading off. Your guide, uh, you have to go dive. And you have to stay one meter above the ground. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. One meter above the oh, ground. Okay. So not just saying, saying, don't get any closer than one meter. To anything. Very good tips. Very good tips for sustainable snorkeling. No touching, no taking anything and stay a meter away from the seabed. Okay. We got pretty far. We've just left the shallows. Gone down past free grass, but we're still heading out. I believe there's one more person joining our, our group, but he doesn't have fins, so he can't go as fast. Say the visibility here is incredible and I have never seen the size of fish and sea slugs like I've seen the size here. Wow and apparently they saw black tip reef sharks which I missed I didn't see them but this is incredible I'm so excited to dive down here.
wow. We have spotted the barracudas, and this is the first time I've seen sharks in the ocean <laughs> with my own eyes. They were just too far away, and uh, they're very shy, so they sped off as soon as we came. Wow, it is so incredible here. Yeah. the school of Barracuda was so cool. Depending on how deep they moved themselves, I was able to go down quite a bit to see them. The cool thing about knowing how to freedive a bit is that you're able to avoid the crowds of snorkelers at the surface of the water, and it gives you a fully panoramic underwater view of everything that is going on. On our way back to shore, we even got a close encounter with a sea crate. Now even though these snakes are known to be one of the most venomous in the world, there are almost no records of people being bitten by them. They are not aggressive snakes even when they feel threatened, and when seeing it elegantly glide through the water, it was clear that it was not interested in us at all. Okay, we made it back to shore. It's actually quite a quite a swim to get back uh, up here, but that was absolutely incredible. We saw three sharks, that whole school of barracuda, um, a sea snake, the sea crate. That was really really cool. I just I got so frustrated at the start because um, I was getting a bit stressed out that I wasn't able to equalize and there were so many people around and stuff. So it made it very hard for me to go down and actually stay down. I was like, damn man, you know, I came all this way to see the barracudas and then. Oh, I'm just not able to get into the zone, but eventually I took my time and I made it. I've got to say that was a really, really cool experience. But this is just stunningly, stunningly beautiful. To think, you know, we're seeing like a turquoise here and then as you go out, it's like it's just a complete different world. This is Indian Spanish bread. Yeah, Spanish bread. So there's like sugar on it? It's like donuts. Yeah. Like some donuts? Yeah, same same donuts. Donuts. Yeah. Like Okay, flavor. I'll have one. Have Those are really good. <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna just like chuck some more sugar on there, as you should. Thank you. Rarely. Mmm. Yummy. Lots of carbs and lots of sugar. <laughs> Everything good in life. Mmm. Tasty. Trying to eat a bit healthier, but I'm being force-fed all the the carby and sugar stuff. But that's fine. <laughs> yeah. so, take one. Yeah. Okay. What? Oh, they're really cool. So it comes in this like little plastic packet. Two? Yeah. <laughs> mm -mm. yeah, so it tastes really, really good. Like it has like the you know, like water ice crystals. Definitely tastes like coconut and something uh, sweet. Very, very nice. Okay, well off we go again. We're gonna go and enjoy this again very scenic ride back down the coast. Yeah, so we're leaving the guys behind. One of the bikes is overheated, so the ladies will continue this drive down to San Juan. We have just made it back to the dive shop, and uh, I think I'm definitely going to feel the scooter drive. I'm just gonna, I don't know if you guys are gonna be able to see the difference. I don't know if you can see that on camera but I am so ridiculously sunburned and I put Santa's screen on so many times on my arms but just like sitting in the wind uh, on the scooter with the sun on you directly the whole time is pretty intense and uh, yeah I'm gonna be nice crispy and red anyways we're back so we can deliver the stuff um, uh, Will's bike so the guy who actually took us out into the ocean uh, I, we think is overheated but I haven't seen them 
come near us again so I don't know if uh, the bike is okay or not we're just gonna have to hand in the stuff and then I really need to have something to drink and something to eat because I am so thirsty and so salty good morning guys so today I woke up and I'm just really having an off day I don't know I'm feeling so heavy and sad on myself today and I don't really know well I do kind of know what is going on but I wasn't expecting everything to like get me so down like I really woke up with such a heavy feeling in my heart and um, yeah we don't always have rainbow and butterfly days and today is one of those days for me and uh, I was supposed to actually go and train for the free diving today, so basically going down the line. And I really want to cancel. But yesterday I had such a lovely day with the the free diving out there with the barracudas and swimming and seeing the turtles and everything. That I've decided, you know what, maybe this is good for me to just get out of the house and go and do the training session anyways, because probably if I just continue to lay in bed for the rest of the day even though it's still pretty early now but yeah i would probably go back to bed if i don't go to the training session so instead of doing that i'm gonna just get myself ready and um, head down to the dive shop and go do this training and i hope that will lift my spirits a bit whiff of the salty air is already lifting the mood and making me feel excited to get back in. So time to uh, put our gear on. We haven't even started yet and we have spotted our first turtle cruising along at the bottom of the ocean floor. How cool is that? back we're in the water for over an hour and it's so crazy like what some physical activity in the ocean can do for your brain and for your mood that's really uh, really cool there's still some things that I need to work on especially like my finning and the duck dive but I love going down the line in the free immersion so I'm happy we got to do that I gotta say I am really happy first of all that you don't see the marks anymore on my face from the snorkel mask but it is really incredible what the ocean can do for our soul and also physical activity for our moods. I know that, you know, usually when I am down, I need to stop moving again because you're then putting your emotions into motion and uh, getting out of your head and into your body. Uh, but Secure is definitely, definitely incredible for free diving and there are lots of amazing snorkel spots. So I do encourage you that if you go to Secure to go and enjoy Tulapas Marine uh, Sanctuary or uh, to maybe do some free diving or do some snorkeling because there is so much to see once you get in the water. Anyways, guys, like always, I hope you enjoyed this video and I really hope to see you in the next one. Bye.